Hello, Draco one here, and we're going to be taking a look at the Power Macintosh 7500 again. Uh, this is sort of the aftermath video of the last video. Uh, yes, it left uh, this room in a total mess, but nonetheless, uh, we have to upgrade the memory. So remember the last segment of the last video, the part I needed to actually record the footage without virtual memory? Well, it turns out I couldn't do it without installing more RAM. There was only 16 megabytes in there. So, uh, I pulled this stick out of a Power Macintosh G3. Hopefully I can just pop it right in here and it'll be compatible. I have no idea if that'll work. We're totally shooting in the dark here. So, here we have a look at the back. Um, my first guess on how to open it is via the... Don't do that. Uh, uh, so, uh, it's this right here. Yeah. I'll just, um, uh, it's really as simple as just lifting it off. Sort of. Where did that come from? I don't know. But you have to basically push these tabs in and then sort of well, lift it off. Like that. Good God, how the hell am I going to get in there? You gotta flip these switches inward. And then, I think... Oh, I knew it! Apple Ingenuity at... Holy shit! Look how many... F oh! Are those all the RAM slots? Don't mind if I do. So that's 16 legs of RAM, and this is a RAM stick, I I guess. We can just put it in. I, no, no problemo, right? I, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm trying to pull this part up. Ah, you gotta go like that, I guess. Put on that side, and then snap the logic board. It can't really work because it's a different shape of RAM. I don't know where I found this, but this was sitting on top of the Power Macintosh 6500. It actually fits and is the right height, and it snaps in. What have I got to lose? Well, I guess the logic board. I have no idea where that RAM came from. That was kind of cool, it had a kickstand. So we gotta lock our tack foils in braking position. And close that, I guess. Not sure what it does. This comes up and down for no reason. So let's uh, plug it in and press the power button. See what happens. Yeah! I really wasn't expecting that. Let's do this. And that's it. The case is back on. So that's the Power Max 7500 trying to put the uh, RAM in there, knowing absolutely nothing about what I'm doing. However, I still managed to uh, get it working. There's the Happy Mac. That could not happen with bad RAM. The question is, will it boot faster now that it has more RAM? I think it already did boot faster, to be honest. But... And uh, partway through the startup, it actually kicks in with the uh, sound. So it's not even started up yet, but yet. I don't, let's see if I can play the boss battle. No, I'm going to die.
48 megabytes of RAM. I can't believe it. I don't even know where that stick of RAM came from, but it works. I, I think it came from another Power Macintosh uh, uh, 6500 uh, that I got over there. I might have pulled it out of another one. But uh, lo and behold, holy crap, it, it worked. It went from 16 to 48. That's going to be enough to uh, make our recording. So uh, uh, if you want to actually see what that recording is, uh, there might be an annotation that links you to the previous video uh, where I do all sorts of crazy stuff with Mac OS 8 trying to get quick time to work so that we can look at what Kirby looks like on the screen. Uh, that's why we're hearing it in the background. It's just running in the background. Whenever you have any RCA jacks plugged in the back, it just always plays it. No matter where you are, and you can adjust the volume. But you'll you'll see all that in the other video. Um, so yeah, successful RAM upgrade is successful. Uh, I'll see all you guys next time. Have a good one.